Um, our next bit of movie news today um, comes in the form of MCU television news. And you may have already heard of this, but Ethan Hawk. Ethan Hawk. What a talented actor, that man. Uh, Ethan Hawk is joining the cast of Moon Knight reportedly as the show's main villain. Now, let's think about this for a second. Let's, let's think about this for a second. Think about the impact here. Like, we already know that Christian Bale is joining um, uh, Thor Love and Thunder. Like, crazy, crazy talented actor. Crazy talented actor. And uh, when, when you look at Thor, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Moon Knight. Uh, Moon Knight was already cast with uh, uh, Oscar. In fact, you know what? Here, I made a little graphic. Let's jump into the graphic, shall we? There you go. Look at this lineup, you guys. Oscar Isaac, who's cast as Moon Knight, he has 70 nominations and 50 wins. No, this is not Academy Award stuff. Um, to my knowledge, there's only one Academy Award winner on this list, and that is Ethan Hawke himself. But think about that for a minute. Of all of the film festivals, of all of the, like the smaller smaller film festivals, even bigger film festivals, um, other awards uh, ceremonies like the Golden Globes or, oh, geez, I don't know, uh, the BAFTAs, like whatever. Oscar Isaac has been nominated seventy times, and of those seventy nominations, he's won fifty. <laughs> he's won. Like, think about that for a second. That's crazy. Ethan Hawke, now cast as the main villain. Think about this. Ethan Hawke has had 206 film nominations, whether it be Golden Globes or, or BAFTAs or various film festivals or whatever. 206 nominations with 67 wins. And of those 67 wins, he's won four Academy Awards. Ethan Hawke has four Academy Awards sitting on his mantle right now. Two for acting, two for writing. <laughs> Crazy. Let's move on. Mohamed Daib, who is one of the directors on the films, he on the on the on the TV show. He's won uh he's been nominated 24 times again in various like uh like smaller scale um uh uh, <laughs> mind is going blank right now. Um, uh, uh, film festivals or, you know, other like Golden Globe, like that kind of stuff. 24 nominations, 12 wins. And that is just with two films. Two films. Those 24 award nominations and 12 wins are spread across two movies. Aaron Moorhead and Justin Benson, directors and uh, I, I believe they're also producers, they work together, uh, maybe not exclusively, but on their 30 award nominations and eight wins over the course of four films, these two guys have had so much experience and so much notoriety and credibility. Doug uh, uh, Manoush? I, ha I, I don't know how to say his last name. Doug Manoush. I'm just going to call him Doug Manoush. Uh, who is uh, the writer and creator of Moon Knight. He was a writer on Harley Quinn. Uh, the, 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 the animated series on HBO Max. Two seasons worth. If you have not seen Harley Quinn, it is brilliant. It is absolutely brilliant. Jeremy Slater, who is the producer and showrunner on Moon Knight. He created Umbrella Academy. He created the Exorcist television series. Now, we never saw Exorcist. Uh, I'm not into that scary kind of stuff, but uh, people praised it. Exorcist, from what I've been uh, observing and hearing and whatever, people like the Exorcist show. He created that. The, he created the Umbrella Academy. He's going to be working as the producer and the showrunner, of course, alongside Kevin Feige, MCU like, awesome guy. I don't know what else to call him. Look, Just look at this list. Moon Knight, the television show. I mean, I was always intrigued by Moon Knight. 
long before the TV show was announced, long before the TV show was announced, I was always intrigued by Moon Knight. I was never that drawn to Mark Spector. Uh, Mark Spector is the character who plays Moon Knight. I was never drawn to him that much. Uh, I always saw him as like a Batman knockoff, which a lot of people say a lot of people say that Moon Knight is kind of like a Batman knockoff. It's like Marvel's version of Batman. Okay, blah blah blah, whatever. Um, but when you look at the stuff, uh, uh, the subject matter, and look at the people that they're getting to be in this show, be a part of the show, to write the show, to direct the show, to star in the show, this does not guarantee. This does not guarantee the Moon Knight is going to be incredible not at all but if you want a show or movie to have the best chance at succeeding you get ridiculously talented people ridiculously talented people who know what they're doing to work on your show to work on your movie and that's what kevin feige has done look at this list it's incredible and there's there's more people there's more people working on this, obviously. Um, this is just a short list. It's a short list, but it's a good list. Anyway, guys, Ethan Hawke joining the cast of uh, of Moon Knight, I think, is absolutely incredible. Um, who knows? Like, Because, again, it's all speculation. We don't know what character he's going to be playing. Um, that hasn't been announced yet. Uh, but I will be waiting with bated breath to see where this goes. I'm very interested to see the show. Like, the casting alone, the casting alone gets me, like, ridiculously excited. So, anyway, question is for you guys. What do you think of the casting announcement of Ethan Hawke joining the cast of uh, Moon Knight? Does it get you excited? Are you meh? Are you not a huge fan? Um, I'm interested. Jump on down to the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click like. If you really like this video, click subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, click share. Because that is exactly what Pee Wee Herman would want you to do. Ha! 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 <laughs>